Hello everyone, I received the November Your Creative Studio Vintage Ephemera Box from Amanda a couple of weeks ago and this is the first opportunity I've had to take a look at it. Um, it's such a busy time of year but I thought I'd sit down with you today and let's take a look and see what we can do with some of these goodies inside. Um, this is Amanda's business card and thank you note that she always writes um, so maybe we've got a bit of a stag theme going on. Let's open this up and um, take Take a look and see what we've got um, inside this month's box. Um, what I'll do is pop this off to um, one side and let's open this and um, see what we have here. Um, full, full of goodies. So we have some um, washi stroke masking tape. Let's see if I can open this up without destroying the um, envelope. And let's have a look. So we've got um, stags and deers. Let's see if I can open open this and I'll show you what this, this looks like. Absolutely gorgeous. Just look at that. I love it. Um, so that's the um, washi tape for this, this month. Let's pop that off to one side. Let's move these out of the way just so that um, we've got something clear for you to see. Um, we have a cling stamp with some um, deers and stags and things on by the by the looks of it. Oh, we've got um, a cute little um, family going going on here. So they are ranging in various different um, sizes. Let me just try and show you show you these. In fact. They go in in that order. Oh, how adorably cute are those! And that's what they look like um, on the other the other side. Really like those. Um, so that's that. We have um, one of the Mocard vintage um, sticker boxes. Let's have a look and see what um, these look like. I just always love the packaging on these um, these items. Just so gorgeous. Right, so some um, vintage um, items here in lots of different um, designs. So let me show, uh, show you some of these. So it looks as if we've got three of each design here. Um, lots of uh, tickets, um, some with a Parisian um, theme. They're not all Parisian. Um, lots of different designs here, but I really like those. So, you know, we can have a play around with some of these. Always fun to use in collage. Oh, I love that. Oh, hang on. Quickly um, flick through these for you. I like the numerical ones. Those are fun. So, yeah, lots of um, things for us to play with. Play with here. Quickly. Oh, those are fun, aren't they? So, so that's those. Let's pop those off to um, one side. We have some um, fern stickers as well. I like those. I like those um, a lot. Another cling stamp. Um, let's see what's inside this one. This one here. It looks like we've got um, a larger stag or, or deer in, in this one here. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Love that. Especially appropriate for this time of year. We have some sticky notes and just look at the design um, on these. So let's open um, these up. They're all the same design, but those are just beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. I love those. We've got some um, postage stamps. Um, Ex Libri. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at the designs that we've got um, on um, on this package or in this package here. So it looks um, as if this is more of a wildlife theme. Lots of birds. These are just beautiful. What have we got here? Yeah, sort of like um, a river theme. Penguins, wild cats. Absolutely gorgeous. These are just beautiful. Squirrels. I just love squirrels. Cats, swans, um, a whale, winter cat here. So all kinds of different designs here. These are just gorgeous. Look at those hens as well. Aren't they fun? Um, owls. So we've got um, those postage um, or faux postage stamps there. So let's pop those off to one side. 
we have some more um, dear um, ephemera as well. How do I get into, into this? And these are a tag design. Are these all the same as well? Those are just gorgeous. I love those. Absolutely beautiful. These are really weighty as well. Nice thick um, cardstock there. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So ten of those. Love those. More stickers. Um, or are these rub-ons? Not quite sure, but um, floral design here. In fact, actually, let's leave that um, like that and I'll show you the designs which are shown on the back. So liking those. Um, some of Amanda's Your Creative um, Studio designs as well with um, deers and stags. Um, absolutely gorgeous. Like those a lot. We have um, this package here, note cards. Hang on, let me just try and get um, into this. Let's um, grab my my pokey tool and try and open the cellophane <clears throat> and let's have a look and see what we've got inside inside here these look like um, labels to me let's try and slide slide this off hang on I am just going to have to open this oh and it's um, sort of like a note block oh my goodness me we've got lots of um, different designs I've got a bit stuck to my thumb hang on that's bothering me let's try try and get rid of that so we've got lined paper we've got um, tag styles um, dotted sort of like planner paper style design so quite a few different designs for us to play with here as well um, look how thick um, that is we have another cling stamp. Let's have a look and see what's inside this one here. I've just ripped the package, but never mind. Oh, that's gorgeous. That's gorgeous as well. So, you know, we have the male and female here. Aren't those just beautiful? We have a bookmark. Let's have a look and see what this is. Looks like this is um, a magnetic design. I like that packaging, so I might um, save that and try and use that um, in something. Um, what can I use as an example? So this is magnetic. That is just gorgeous. I like that um, a lot. How pretty. And then finally, we've got some um, scrapbooking papers. Let me just move these out of the way just so that I can um, show you what we've got um, this month. Um, again, with um, a deer or stag design. These are just gorgeous. Um, and these are vellum, vellum papers. What pretty, pretty now design. Now my first project, I want to do something with this beautiful packaging. It was the packaging that these gorgeous tags were in. So I'm going to start off by doing something with this first. That just looks um, so gorgeous. And I always think that the packaging that comes with these is just so lovely. It's a shame not to use it. And I've got um, an idea that um, I want to share for using all of these all in one go um, so I'm going to um, keep one what I am thinking is that I can use the um, card that Amanda sent and turn this into a pocket um, here like this now bring in my your creative studio um, journal and as I always say for anybody who wants to know how I made this journal which has been made using your creative studio goodies from previous um, boxes I'll leave the link to the video in the description box below now where was that page it was here wasn't it so I am thinking that I will have um, this on this page here like this so I want to make sure that I've got some of the um, reindeer on this side here showing um, so I'm just going to glue that down there like like that so bring in my art art glitter glue I've lost the pin um, that um, that goes on the side I'm just going to add some glue just down the side and the bottom here. And as I've said, I just want to make sure that I've got some of that um, deer showing. In fact, actually, um, I didn't need to put any on the bottom at this stage, did I? So let's let's have that. I want to make sure that his head um, is, is showing. I might need to take just um, a smidge off the top there, um, which I'm going to do now. I can add some glue around the side here like this 
and stick this into the journal. And that will be my first really simple but effective page um, done. And we can do something with the tag and add that as well, or adding to a pretty page. Um, I can add some glue over the back of that as well. And let's pop, pop that down, down here. Um, and of course, I've got the gorgeous um, washi tape from a previous box here as well. So let's just make sure that um, that that's firmly stuck stuck down. And then let's take the um, little popper out of the tag and that will go in there just, just like that. I think what I need to do is just take this out of the journal and just weight it down just to make sure that that glue has grabbed. Now, will I be able to get this um, out? Things are starting to get um, a little bit tight now. Let's just move that out of the way for a second. And I'm just going to weight, weight this down underneath a heavy book. Now that's been weighted down underneath a heavy book for a few moments. So I'm just going to very, very carefully try and pop, pop this back in. Here it goes. Make sure it doesn't um, get stuck on anything and just pull it, pull it through the other side. You see, elastic um, is a little bit more flexible. I was asked the other day, um, which method of um, binding a flexible journal do I like best? And they both have their merits, but, um, you know, string does get a little bit tight um, the fuller your pages get. Now, bring back my tag. And what I'm going to do is just add a piece of um, this garden twine um, or packaging string, whatever you want to call it and I'm just going to th uh, thread this through the top just for a bit of detail and that's a really simple page there in my journal just be careful with that because um, that glue probably needs a bit longer for um, it to grab and isn't that um, a wonderful start um, to that to that spread now I also have um, this piece of packaging here and again this was the packaging that um, that these gorgeous um, little post-it notes were attached to and I'm going to use this as well because I want to use all of these up um, as well I do want to um, ink around the edges so let me just um, find my um, sponge let's have some some, um, distress ink in frayed burlap and what I'm going to do is just really carefully in fact actually let's just melt this with the heat tool just be careful because I don't want to tear this that's where the glue has held everything on and I'm just going to ink around the edges and then I'm just going to glue this down to that beautiful packaging as well um, you know, if I'm going to use all of these um, little post-it notes, then I might as well use the packaging that they were attached to as well. And these look great in the journal. Um, in fact, actually, if I grab myself a piece of deli paper, then I can always add just a touch more ink around the edges as well, just to make it a bit more dramatic, like, like this. And then let's just um, add some glue to the back. I found my, my pin, it was on the floor. Um, you can actually order the pins um, for these glue bottles, but they are quite expensive. So I am trying my absolute hardest um, not to lose mine. You can use um, a stainless steel jewelry wire head pin if you do use them, but don't use a regular dressmaker's pin um, because they're not stainless steel and, um, they'll turn your glue brown. So just be, be careful with this. Now, I just want to um, add this to the back of the packaging and I might even add a bit of stitching to that just for a bit more detail as well. So let's just um, pop pop that down. Just smooth, smooth that into place. And I might go and add a bit of stitching just around that um, as well. And what a difference a bit of stitching makes. So I've added some around the outside border here um, and some to the um, little design itself. So that's what it looks like on the back. So we've transformed that and that is now ready to be glued onto the left hand side. So again, I'm just going to use some art glitter glue for that. And just a bit um, along the top some in the middle and that will be that will be enough and um, let's add this to the left hand side i should have perhaps kept this out of the journal until 
I'd glued this on, but hey ho, there we go. I absolutely love that spread. I think that's gorgeous. So next I want to try and do something with this page here. So I'm just going to take this out of the string as well. So that's out. And this time I want to use some of this um, Japanese paper um, here. Have I got this the right way um, up? What I'm going to do is just trim these raggedy edges um, to start off with. Yeah, I've done that. And um, now I'm just going to add some glue stick um, all over here. So let me just grab my big Pritt stick just because it will be quicker. And I'm just going to add glue all over this like this again as always just paying particular attention to the um, edges and we can glue that um, Japanese book paper paper down just make sure I've got plenty plenty of glue so that it's not going to come unstuck especially as I've said just around the edges that will be fine get rid of my parchment paper and now I don't want it to go right to the very centre, I'm going to use some um, washi tape there. So let's just smooth that down and we'll do exactly the same with the other side as well. As I've said, just uh, avoiding that middle middle part, part there. Add a bit more glue here and then I'm just going to add some of that washi tape. Now what have I done with it? So let's just measure um, a good piece out that can go in the, in the centre. I think if we cut this off, or in fact, we can just tear it. And I'm just going to add some glue to this as well, um, just because I find that washi tape never sticks particularly well and you always need a bit of extra glue to make sure that it's not going to lift and go anywhere. So bring, bring that back, whoops, and let's stick, stick that down. Just make sure I get it the right, right way up. And I think that's going to be perfect, just, just like, just like that. And I can just burnish that down with my bone folder and just trim off the um, excess around the around the edges. So we'll turn this up the the other way, and we'll just trim away all of the excess. So that's now trimmed and of course that's the other side of the page. I'm just going to make sure that I've got this burnished down really, really well, just just like this. Um, really use my fingers just to make sure that it's um, stuck down around the edges as well. We've um, made sure as well that the washi tape is stuck down. And then I'm going to use some of this um, vellum paper here like this. So I'm just going to use a pencil um, just to make a mark here. And I'm just going to trim that off on my paper trimmer. So now that I've cut this um, in half, what I'm left with is a piece that will fit on here exactly like this. And I think that's going to look absolutely gorgeous. So I'm just going to stick that down. I'm going to use art glitter glue to do that. And in fact, what I'll do is I'll just add some glue just around the outside here. Because I know where I need that to go. And I will need to trim just a tiny tad just off the top where it's a bit too tall. I'm not um, going to add any to the centre. I just want it... Um, right on the very edge and I'm just going to stick that down there just just like that and you can see that I've got um, a very slight overhang I'm just going to wait for the glue to dry first and then I will um, trim that trim that off now this piece um, here is going to fit um, beautifully on the edge um, but I do want to do some stamping to this first and I'm going to use this beautiful stamp here now let's um, have a battle um, with this and try and get this um, backing off I struggle with this every single time but it is doable so just use your pokey tool and eventually you will find an area where it will lift and here we are slide it in I had it a second ago just here we go just under here like like that I'm going to use um, a stamp block and stick my reindeer down 
um, and let's do some stamping. So where on earth do I want that to go? Just down here like this. And I'm wondering actually whether to add some more of the washi tape just to um, ground my, my reindeer. Let's do it. So we'll just add a tiny bit here like like this. In fact, actually, do, do I want just that more neutral part? I don't really want um, a head in view. We'll trim that there just like so. Same on the other the other side. And let's get um, inking. So that will just give me um, a grounding for, for my reindeer. I'm going to use Stazon ink to do this and we'll just ink this up really, really well make sure that we've got plenty over our reindeer that should that should be enough and then stand up to do this so that I get it um, in the right place and I'm just going to press that down there like like that and hold it there for a few seconds just for the ink um, to grab, really pressing down hard. The moment of truth, let's just lift this um, up. Oh my goodness me, that is just beautiful. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Now, I didn't quite get um, all of the feet grounded, so I'm just using a regular HB pencil. This is just, um, you know, any old cheap HB pencil, and I'm just adding some marks here just to ground my reindeer and I think that's beautiful isn't that gorgeous and let's glue that down onto the other side so I'm going to have this as um, a kind of tuck spot let me just um, move this this is just the piece of the top of the stamp I'm just going to glue this down onto the side here so I will add how do I want to do this my glue <coughs> just around these sides here of the vellum. Of course I'm going to need to trim that top slightly so I'm just going slightly shy of that top edge and pop that down there just just like this and as soon as that um, glue has grabbed then I can trim these top top edges. See we've got um, just a very slight um, overhang isn't that beautiful? And of course, all I need now is a couple of pieces of ephemera just to add to these pages and those will be finished. Um, I've got um, an old vintage shipping tag here and what I'm going to do is add one of these um, labels here. Is that the right one? Is that the one I want to add? I think it is. I'm just going to glue this onto the top of this shipping tag here. Again, we'll just use a bit of glue to do that just a bit of glue stick and pop pop this down just want that to go oh hang on just want that to go on there like that and I can trim the bottom bottom off whoops we've got some um, a bit of glue there from my fingers but that's that's okay trim trim that off I'm just rubbing that um, that glue mark away with um, a regular eraser. Now I've also got this um, calendar page as well. I do think I want to round the um, edges. I've just got my um, X cut um, small paper rounder and I'm just going to round the edges here like this just to finish um, that off. Um, that's much better and I do think I'm going to um, ink around the edges as well. So again we'll just use some um, frayed burlap to do that just to get rid of the whiteness and just make it look more vintagey and we can glue glue that down so again in fact actually bring back that parchment paper just to catch the mess and stick that on as well just make sure I get that the right right way up that's good um, trim off the um, top because that's way 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 too too long and that can slot into the side here just oh hang on 
just make sure that that's glued down that can slot there into the side and i've also got um another calendar page here december which i'm going to glue onto the top um, right hand corner and i just think that um, makes those harmonious and um, they work really well together so i'll just glue that down as well and that's another page done um, in my journal it is Friday December the 18th today so I'm just going to pop um, a ring around that and that's that spread done I as well. I want to do something with um, some of these stickers here that were in this um, vintage box and I pulled out to start off with these four designs here. I am going to stick them down to um, another piece of that Japanese book paper. Let me just make sure I get it the right way up and what I was thinking I have had um, a play around with this just to um, figure out my my layout and what I'm thinking is that I can maybe have these like like this so how did I how did I want to do that so something like like that so um, these are labels in fact um, this is going to be the width here so that's what um, I'm working towards and I want to make sure that I've got plenty of that um, beautiful Japanese text um, showing so I just need to fiddle around with this until I'm happy with with my my layout so what I'll do first is um, stick this one down so I'm going to use my pokey tool because these are always a bit of a challenge to peel up here we are so let's stick this one down down first so that one can go there like that let's try and get that reasonably straight there we are um, then what did I want to do I wanted to have this one down um, next so again we'll do the same and <clears throat> that one can go there I don't want to cover up um, too much of it and I'm, I'm trying not to over overthink it um, as well and then this one can go on top so let's peel this one up as well and let's just try and make ourselves a cute little collage here it comes which way round did I want that to go I think I want it um, that that way round oh hang on just make sure I need to make sure I've got this lined up with the top um, and the the side there we go that will do fine then this one here is going to go on top um, like that which will pull all of the colors together so let's try and uh, peel this one off as well of course, I'm going to struggle with this one now, aren't I? Here it comes. Here we are. Here it is. So I am just going to get that in the middle. Again, try not to over overthink it. And then I was thinking that maybe I could have one of the postage stamps, where have I put it, as a focal image. Um, again, I just think that looks absolutely lovely. To make that stand out um, a little bit more, I am going to use some Distress um, ink. So let's use some frayed, frayed burlap. And I'm going to do that before I peel the backing off. Let's try gathered twigs. Um, this might be a little bit better. Yeah, there we go. That's that's better. Just to try and separate um, the focal image from the rest of the background because it is quite quite busy. And I can peel this off as well and stick stick that down. So a pokey tool or even um, a scalpel knife is going to be your friend to help you get the the backings off. Just make sure I've got that straight. That is is fine. Cut away um, some of the excess book paper. So again, I just want to ink around the edges. Let's see which colour I want to do this in. This is frayed burlap. I might add a bit of darker ink just on the very edge as well. And then we just need to find another page. Of course, this is not related to the Christmas reindeer theme, but, you know, that's OK. We just stick it somewhere different so that um, it doesn't look as if it was ever meant to be related. 
that's better that's made that stand out um, a lot more and I think I want this to go on on this page here and I've also pulled out one of the um, little envelopes that the reindeer stamp was in I'm just going to heat this with my heat tool because I want to peel the label off and this will just melt the glue underneath you've all seen me do this many 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 times before so we'll just carefully peel peel this off there we are so that's that's that and then I just need to decide now um, how I want this to go. Um, I'd quite like to have this as a pocket. Um, what I think I'm going to do, though, is, is chop the top off and just maybe use my circle punch um, and have that as a pocket like, like that. I think this is going to really annoy me. So I've trimmed the top off and I'm just going to use my circle punch now just to make myself a little a little tab there we go and then that can be glued onto the background and that is my decoration for the front i think that's lovely now when you apply your glue with something like this try not to get it too close to the edge um, because you will give yourself more room then to put um, things in inside you'll see what i mean once i've got this glued glued down so we'll just add some glue here as well. And then a bit in the centre as well. Oh, come on you. It doesn't want to come out. Let's just unclog it. That's better. Stick this down to my to my page. And you see, because I've left a little bit um, of room here, I've got more um, of a gap to put um, things inside. So at some stage, I've got nothing in mind at the moment, but, um, you know, in one of the future boxes, something might present itself. And again, I'm just going to stick this down to that little um, envelope and this time my glue can go right to the very the very edge so let's just pop pop this on i love the colors in those stickers absolutely gorgeous and the postage stamp is just um, perfect now, I don't know whether you can remember, we received this pack here, um, oh gosh, many, many months ago. And in fact, actually, it was the set that I used to create the cover for my Your Creative Studio junk journal. And for anybody who's interested in seeing how I made this and also seeing the unboxing, I'll leave the link to this particular video in the description box below. So let's just find that um, page again. So here it is. Now we've got a couple of birds in this set um, that I didn't use. Let me just show you which ones we had. Um, this was the one that I used for the cover um, and this one here was um, on the back. So we've got two more birds. We've got this one here and this one and let me show you them on a larger scale. We received two of each of the images in this set here. I've still got both both left let me just um, take one of each so I've got a choice I can use one of these two I've already taken the page out of the journal just to make it um, easier to work on so I could use this one here um, but I've decided I'm going to go for this one I think the image is just absolutely beautiful I think color wise it matches um, perfectly with the image on the other side um, so that's what I am going to do stop me getting any glue where I don't want it I'm just going to use that piece of parchment paper again and I'm just going to use a glue stick and let's just add some glue all over this here making sure as usual I've got plenty around the edges whoops this um, piece of paper here that I'm gluing it onto is quite flimsy it's just a piece of um, old ledger ledger paper in fact I think this was um, ledger paper from a flow magazine it's a shame in a way to cover it up but um, there we have it and I am just going to glue this down here like like this and then trim it and that will be my page done um, easy peasy but you know it would just look absolutely beautiful next to that one there 
I'm leaving that there for today. I've got three more really simple spreads done in my journal. So let's just go back to this one here. We've got this one, um, that one there. That was the first one I made. Absolutely gorgeous. Love the deers and the, the stags. I think they're gorgeous. And then, of course, the bird theme as well for anybody who's watching my videos for the first time just to clarify your creative studio is a vintage ephemera box um, and this is a brilliant um, indication as the, to the types of goodies that you get in um, each box each month you can either subscribe as a one-off or for longer if you want to and you'll find all the details in the description box below as as always and if you want to know how I made the journal and how I filled um, all of these other gorgeous pages as well I have a whole playlist um for you your creative studio as well so do go and um, check that out um if you're interested and um you know you want more ideas as to how to use um the contents of these gorgeous boxes um but you know if you've enjoyed my video today as always i'd really appreciate a thumbs up um do let me know what you think in the comments below but most importantly thanks for watching take care everyone and i'll see you all again soon bye for now